will also stream on YouTube sometime. In addition, people love watch YouTube. I believe in Japan too, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, uh, I can also connect the Hiroshima University students to listen my picture to they left, they left the seminar. Uh, in 15, uh, the seminar has been finished. Uh, but I've already told Diana about this lecture. I really? Diana yeah, no, knows. Diana yeah, knows. Uh, maybe some students will join. Okay, uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning, our esteemed guests and participants. So I can say a warm welcome to each and every one of you who join us today at Bandung Institute of Technology of Architecture, Planning, and Policy Development, or SAPPD. I believe everyone, uh, we also have the online participants. So welcome for everyone as well. Um, let's start the International Guest Lecture today. My name is Nadia. I'm also a graduate student in transportation here in SAPBD. So, and I will be your host for today. And we are gathered here for the learning about mobility-oriented development, especially on the research and development, as well as the social implementation. Our distinguished lecturer today will be Professor Akimasa Fujiwara from Hiroshima University. So, Arigata gozaimasu. Thank you so much for allowing your time to visit and share your knowledge with us in ITB. 
Okay, next part down. down. This, this event is quite straightforward. So we will have the opportunity to learn from, from Professor Fujiwara for about 60 minutes, and then we'll be followed by a Q&A and discussion session. And before I start, I will briefly talk about the guidelines of this event. Okay, so participants are expected to make an order. And we encourage everyone to ask questions. Uh, you can ask questions uh, by Zoom uh, for those who join online by chat or raise hand question. And of course, uh, for those who are here, you can uh, just raise your hands. And when I invited you to speak, uh, you can say your uh, institution uh, or maybe the, the program and also the question. Okay. I think that will be all. And uh, also uh, for the online participants, the organizing and data research, the right to exclude participants who do not follow the rules. That will be all. And for the next one, before we start, let me invite Ibu Pusita uh, Rigahayani as our vice dean and SAPPD to provide her opening remarks. Okay. Uh, good morning, Sensei, Professor Akimasa Fujiwara, and uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, on behalf of uh, the Dean, uh, today I would like to open this uh, very interesting discussion uh, about mobility-oriented development. Uh, I'm sorry, we I would like to uh, lengthen apology from the Dean because usually today, every Tuesday, uh, we have a series of uh, meeting. I know, I know. <laughs> there is a series of meeting, so uh, she couldn't attend. But uh, I think uh, this is one of our activities, uh, continued activities in terms of academic uh, uh, cooperation and collaboration uh, from, with, between ITB and of Japanese University, especially Hiroshima University. Uh, I think we will uh, obtain a very uh, up-to-date uh, knowledge about transportation planning and transportation engineering, because I believe and acknowledge that Fujiwara Sensei is very well known in this uh, field, uh, especially uh, in the transportation planning and policy, travel behavior analysis. And several years ago, we also uh, welcome Fujiwara Sensei and the team working on the mobility management in uh, in Asian countries. Right? I I think uh, this is the continued concept of the mobility management. Uh, I myself uh, know Fujiwara Sensei uh, mm -hmm. since uh, he also the acquaintance of my uh, professor in University of Tokyo and uh, many of his research, like about 400 uh, <laughs> reviewed papers have been uh, published and that was, that they are very uh, uh Excellent uh, references for us in the transportation uh, field. Uh, and myself, I'm interested in this research, not only because uh, uh, on behalf of the vice uh, of the dean, but because I also working on the transit oriented development. Yeah. Uh, I'm curious what's the difference <laughs> between the community oriented development with yeah. the transit oriented development that has been developed or uh, constructed uh, based on the American cities uh, experience. Uh, and I think uh, that's uh, what I would like to say. And uh, I would welcome uh, Fujiwara Sensei and uh, be very honored to have uh, Fujiwara Sensei here to share the knowledge uh, today. And uh, thank you, Sensei, and has, uh, let us have a productive and a fruitful discussion today. Good morning, and Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. <laughs> Thank you.
thank you, Ruben, for the remarks. So I believe you're all been so enthusiastic and can't wait for your uh, sharing, Professor. So now we're getting to the main part. Please allow me to introduce Professor Fujiwara, who will be the speaker today. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, Professor Akimata Fujiwara is a professor of graduate school of science and engineering at Hiroshima University. He earned his doctoral degrees of engineering in Hiroshima University and was appointed as professor at the university in 2002 after staying at the University of Tokyo and Imperial College London. He is currently serving as the president of East, the Eastern Asia Society for Transportation Studies, Japan, and also a vice president of Japan Society of Civil Engineers. His research interests include a wide range of issues related to the nature of transport, including travel behavior analysis, civil plan avenue survey methods for new mobility services, driving can say evaluation of disaster transport management, evaluation of value of mobility, evaluation of mobility oriented development, which will be discussed today, and educational development of global technological citizenship. So I hope. Those are correct, and uh, we were looking forward for you to explain more about mobility oriented development today. So I think without further ado, to Professor Akimesa Fujiwara, the floor is yours now, and you will have about 60 minutes. Thank you. Thank you very much. And Pasukita san thank you very much for your kind introduction, and you remember me a lot. Thank <laughs> you very much. <laughs> and also, thank you very much, Maya-san. Uh, uh, I still Call Maya as a PhD student in Hiroshima University. Sorry about that. Anyway, thank you very much. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, it's very much welcome to my uh, special lecture. Then uh, I'm also very much excited to talk about this topic. This is the first presentation about the MOB in front of others. Uh, because this project, has been started this September, end of September. To be honest, it's not, not started yet, but the fund has been uh, allocated the end of September. Then we now start the big five years research fund project, uh, collaborating with U Tokyo, uh, Kure Kosen, and Pacific Consultancy and uh, Vital Lead Consultancy and some others, JR West, some others. Then you can, you can image, this is not only the academic project, this is a collaboration between academia and the industry as well as uh, government. Therefore, I think, I'm very much pleased to introduce our current joint research. The title is Mobility Oriented Development. I think it's different from the POV, Challenging Mobility Development. This is the main topic I want to share with you. <clears throat> I'm going to prepare the one small gift to all of you. That is the meaning of MOD. Please bring back the meaning of MOD. Maybe this is a new word. <clears throat> First, I want to distinguish my talk into three different parts. First one is uh, overview, the existing concept of TOD. This is very much uh, historical issues since 19, 19th centuries. Then uh, Indonesia as well, you already introduced the concept of TOD, especially in the MRT in Jakarta. Uh, we ha they, you have uh, a lot of research paper about the TOD indicators. My PhD student now also working about the development of TOD indicators. He called TODness, indicator for TODness. And I will partially share the result as well during my talk today. This is the first part. Then, based on the overview, I move to the second part that is a definition of MOD, mobility oriented development. You can identify what's different, what's the similar concept of both. 
Then finally, I want to introduce our current active current research with industry and uh, government. Uh, so in total, 60 minutes, you said? Okay. Uh, I, I will use this one. Oh, oh yes, works. <laughs> So 60 minutes, so I will distinguish this 20 minutes for each, okay? Then don't disturb to stop my talk. If you have a question, unclear point of, uh, of opposing ideas, don't hesitate. This is a kind of lecture, okay? Okay, let's start. Please. What's your name? My name is Rama. Do you remember me? I'm also with Aziz. Sorry. Smarter. Sorry about that. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Sit down, please. There is a river. Yes. There is a small town. Yeah. Then you are transportation planner. Yeah. You need to develop the economic growth both two towns. Yeah. What's important? Uh, this is a uh, countryside. This is a countryside. This is a uh, industrial area. Yeah. Then we want to link both two. What's your idea to connect both two? Uh, provide access between the two cities. But there are several options, like we can build bridge and road, or second one, maybe we can build rail. Way. Or maybe just some um, uh, boat crossing. Boat? boat? So many options. And it's a drone. Uh, <laughs> maybe to advance. Underground too. Underground. There are a lot of options. <laughs> then, uh, yes, yes, you are correct. So, first of all, we will construct the bridge, then link between two by constructing the highways. This is the most effective way to link both two towns. Then uh, maybe population size will grow. Then after in increase the population in both towns, it's getting more wider. Therefore, population also increase. Then this road might be very much crowded, the congestion. Therefore, we need to construct the second bridge to link the both two. Okay. Then same way. The population also increased. Oh. In the industrial side and also residential side. Both. Then it's repeated to endless talk about that. Then finally, what do we want to do? Construction of highway it might be limited. So we want to change our mind from the highway construction to railway construction. Like Bandon, from Jakarta to Bandon, you have a, a Shinkansen, bullet train now. <laughs> then, uh, yes, that's a pretty much effective way. Then finally, we want to make a TDM, travel demand management, to reduce the uh, traffic congestion by using the park and ride system or a car navigation system or uh, Condition charge system. There are a lot of policies. Uh, this is a normal way to develop the cities. <laughs> In other words, transportation infrastructure may contribute a lot to grow the cities. This is a traditional fashion of ours. Based on this fashion, we have a, a lot of experience all over the world. Mobility has changed the city a lot. Before the modernization, shall we recall the long, long time ago, there is a Western city like this, then castle made a wall surrounding the area. Then almost all residents live in inside the wall, close to the castle, okay? That is a typical compact city in this moment. But previously, they don't consider about that because there is no car. 
There is no motorcycle. Therefore, they want to walk only. Therefore, inside the wall, it's very much convenient to commute each other. So this is the ori original city. Then after crowding the population, population grows, then many people uh, live inside the uh, wall. Then it's become high dense city. Then, then they want to escape from the crowded area to the suburb area. That is a suburbanization start. Okay. Then sub after sub suburbanization started, rich people still remain the city center, but poor people have to leave the suburb area because it's cheaper land. Then urban sprawling started to to suburb area. Then because poor people live in the suburb area with long distance. Rich people still remain the city center with shorter distance. Rich people have the money to buy the car. The poor people doesn't have a car, but they need to commit long distance from the edge of city to the city center. Then that's why we need to construct the commuting railway. Like that. Railway. This is almost similar experience like London, New York, Tokyo, Jakarta as well. Then finally, uh, we reach up to this term. Transit-oriented development has been started in this era. Uh, in Japan, we call the Ensen Kaihats. Uh, this is uh, same, completely similar ideas. Railway construction first, then people live in, poor people live in surrounding the railway, then commuting by railway, not car. This is a, a pre motorization experience, but time has been passed. The car come in our society. Motorization started. Twenty century. Our daily life has been dramatically changed by cars. People can use the vehicle, especially roadside is the best place to buy, to sell the food or vegetables uh, or fruits. Uh, then uh, this road can be occupied by not only the traffic people, but also the commercial people as well along the big highway. And this is a space function of road, not traffic function. Then still increase the economy growth thanks for the motorization. Every people want to buy the biku or poor people also have a motorcycle or biku. Rich people had a second big, second car, third car, then everybody can ride on. Then, motorization completely started all over the world. As a result, we have uh, air quality issues, uh, traffic accident issues, urban sprawling issues, there are a lot of issues. And finally, this is a typical urban sprawl. First of all, we started the compact city. Finally, we go to the urban sprawl issues. Then, now almost all government in different country try to de de develop the compact city again by considering the CO2 reduction. It's funny. Why we have to stay here? This is already compact city. This is one of the uh, interesting history of ours. Uh, but important things I want to say is TOD concept has been developed the end of pre-motorization era, okay? end of 19th century.
I want to share the Japanese experience about the TOD. We call the EK, Ensen Kaihatsu, sorry. Uh, this is the same meaning of transit-oriented development. Then, uh, this is a photo along before construction of the railway. Just at the construction of the railway, you can find no village, no no housing or building existing. Then, railway corporation, railway company developed this line. Hankyu Dentes developed this line uh, in the Osaka metropolitan area, Kobe metropolitan area. Okay. Then, uh, only uh, temple or shrine locates there. Then, soon after the construction of the railway, what happened? So first photo, a uh, figure I show you. We need to construct the infrastructure of uh, transportation, highway and railway. Then city getting more wider and richer. So this is the same way. Please check the current Google map. This is the same place. Can you believe? This is the same train. The temple, then this is the photo they took before construction of the railway. Now we have a railway line from Osaka to uh, Takarazuka. Yeah. Then there are a lot of urban sprawling uh, residential area developed along the railway or highway. This is a typical Japanese development of TOD. Then people want to live here because land is cheaper and bigger, wider. So kids play any kind of natural resources like park. Then they, they buy the car, uh, housing here with, without car because the railway is very much complete convenient to closing, <laughs> commuting from this area to the city center. On the way to the Osaka Metropolitan Center, uh, there is a Takarazuka Theater. Do you know Takarazuka Theater? Women, women Theater actor, act, actress uh, make a dance. Uh, this is a very much famous place. Then a weekend, Still remains a lot of people want to use this train because Takarazuka Shiata or shopping mall existing along the railway. Daytime commuters or students want to use this railway time to commute the working place or university. So whole week, every day, the company gets a lot of money. That's why they firstly invest a huge amount of fund to construct the residential housing along the railway before construction. Then after construction railway, they get a lot of money. This is a kind of strategy. Then in the textbook, she may be uh, teaching you about the concept of TOD, transit-oriented development. There are many good textbooks. Uh, I like this textbook. Then this textbook clearly mentioned about that. TOD, transit-oriented development, is a compact land use pattern with housing, public parks, and plaza jobs and service along the transit systems. Railway. Then the strategic application of TOD will greatly help us through our effort as a community to reduce the automobile dependency, improve air quality, and create the pedestrian-oriented interactive neighborhoods. Best kind of heaven. 
Why don't you develop the DOD? That was the, our common concept about TOD. Uh, the end of 19th century to now. I will share this P PDF for all of you uh, on, on Zoom. Okay. Uh, she, will, she will share it, if you like. Then Jakarta, you know, uh, there is a BRT and now MRT as well. Then this is also, I, I think, this is also a kind of TOD. But development of railway line is a little bit later. After coming the motorization, uh, Jakarta developed the MRT. So most people has already owned the vehicle. So it's very difficult to shift from the private vehicle to public transportation. But anyway, this is uh, Jakarta. Is it? This is Jakarta. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the edge of north and south. And I like block M yeah, here. <laughs> I always come there. Uh, so sing a song. It's your karaoke. Anyway, uh, this is uh, a most important cor corridor in the heart of Jakarta city. Then there are 13 stations of metro line, MRT lines. Then each station has a catchment area, uh, maybe 800 meter radius. The people can walk from edge of this territory into the MRT station easily, or they can use the paratransit <coughs> to come to the station without the heavy condition. That's why the original concept was TOD is quite important to help the MRT to attract a lot of passengers. Even they already own the vehicle. Therefore, my PhD students, Reza san, uh, Reza -san you, you know Reza? Reza come from Itepe? No? Yes. Ideas. Surabaya. Right. <laughs> Not rival. Not rival. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean that. Stop, stop the YouTube. <laughs> we collaborate. <laughs> but I know the former president come from Italy. I met him, Johnny. Johnny. Yeah, ideas. This is all the old friend of mine. Anyway, <laughs> then. This is a result of Lisa Sun. Uh, this is a PhD student working with me now. So he published a good paper uh, this year. Then he developed the indicator of TODness. How su successfully develop the TOD in Jakarta? But it's not so easy to measure, evaluate the TODness. Therefore, he distinguished into the several indicators about the land use indicators, density indicate, uh, commercial indicators, uh, mix land, mix, mix land use indicators, uh, inter, intersection density indicators, uh, population density indicators, uh, accessibility indicators, or connectivity indicators. Then they may, he measured independently one by one. Then totally he ranked from M1 station to M13 station, which is the most preferable station because on the TOD concept. This is one of the good work to evaluate the TOD concept. Okay. This is uh, one of the typical papers uh, along the history of TOD concept. But now time has been changed. Yeah. 
what impact has TOD actually had on town? Many big cities, not only Jakarta, Bangkok as well, Gorampu, Tokyo, Osaka, Beijing, many big cities leading to sprawl and expansion, as I mentioned. And its effect on the heavy, serious condition, pollutant, and social exclusion. This is a fact of the result of TOD. -ness, TOD. We don't want to develop this kind of ex externality, but I'm not sure why TOD bring this negative impact. Fact is fact. Although, depending on the stakeholders, <laughs> a different expectation or different understanding on TOD practice, on concept. Everybody has understand the different uh, TOD con concept and definition. Sometimes they are both uh, conflict each other. Then it can affect the uh, this integration of land use and transport in practice. This is another disbenefit of TOD. So, of course, there is a positive impact and negative impact in any transportation policy. TOD, I believe this is the concept is very much beautiful, beautiful and it's good, but still remains a lot of gaps. Practical gap and research gap as well. That this is the one uh, evidence. Need to consider the new concept of MOD, graduating from the TOD. This is the first part. Do you have any question? No question? You are satisfied with me. <laughs> oh, good student. <laughs> <laughs> what about this time? It's good. <laughs> you didn't give me. <laughs> Thank okay. you for very <laughs> No, not here. This is central Java. It's from uh, Cirebon, West Java. Ah, not not to Java, ne? Another campus of our. Good to this, ne? <laughs> Shall we move the second part? Is it okay? Are you ready? Okay. <laughs> okay. The second step that is uh, the MOD. Do you remember the term of MOD? It's okay. What What is MOD? Mobility oriented development. Good. Good students in it. <laughs> Much better than Hiroshima. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> okay. This is a history of transportation mode development. Uh, develop, originally developed by Ota Sensei in U Tokyo. Your supervisor also was Ota Sensei, not Harata. Harata Sensei. Sensei has retired when I. Okay. I was working in U Tokyo, uh, supervised by Ota Sensei. That's why I read a lot of his paper publications. And then he 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 developed this historical map. I like this. Before motorization, people only walk along. Then uh, there are three, three of transportation mode. One is uh, intermediate, that means uh, people-oriented, people-centralized mode. Miksha, this is a typical mode. And two-wheel vehicle, like a bicycle. Surprisingly, in Bandung, there are a lot of bicyclists now. Previously, before Corona, number of bicycles is quite limited, but now dramatically increase. This is a new funding this moment, this, this morning. Bandung has been changed. 
And in front of my hotel, there are a lot of yoga uh, workers in the park. What's the name? Yasibu. Yasibu. Yasibu Park. So many people working. Uh, tomorrow, I, I will join. <laughs> tomorrow morning. <laughs> it's, anyway, then uh, bicycle developed uh, faster than walking. Then bicycle changed the motorized bicycle that is a motorcycle, or three foil vehicle, or some others, and four foil vehicle. This is a motor, beginning of motorization, so just started. Then, now, uh, still remains the long history of the car dependent cities. Now it's 2020 or 2030 will ch gradually shift from existing vehicle to new mobility. I will talk later. Another three, that is a uh, public transportation. First of all, horsepower public transportation started. Then, uh, tram, <coughs> bus, railway, uh, BRT, and finally, we try to integrate different type of public transportation as a unique service. This is a kind of mass. Anyway, this is new mobility again. There are two types of new mobility. In 2030s, I believe, we will have uh, another integration error that is uh, a case mass error. Do you know case? Case, C connected, A autonomous, auto automated, S, what? Sharing, E, Electro electronic, electric. Case is a new technology of in terms of the mobility. Second term today, please bring back case. MOD first, second case. Then, mass, you already know the mass. You thought. Remember? Mobility as a service. Mobility as a service. Good, good, perfect. OK. <laughs> also, paratransit also developed. Then getting more uh, smart paratransit. In Tokyo, there are kind of robots, robot paratransit. There is no drivers. Then getting on the one, only one people or two people get on. Anyway, this is a rough sketch map of the history of transportation mode development. Thanks for Ota Sensei. Then, okay. Case, once again, please repeat this one. Case means connected, <laughs> autonomous, share, and electronic. Then I think electric is no ne not necessary to explain all of you. Not the gasoline, electric. Share, it's all. Hailing. Hailing, hailing. Rider sharing, it's okay. <laughs> Autonomous, it's okay. Automated self driving vehicle without drivers in level five. It's now Hiroshima University operating the level two or level three. Driver existing, but he does not work without the steering. Then in near future, maybe three years or four years later, uh, Saijo Higashi Hiroshima City will introduce automated driving BRT. I will, I will show later. Then connected is a bit uh, new word. Connected means communication devices installed in vehicle enable smooth and safe travel by collecting, analyzing, and sharing data such as vehicle status and traffic condition with infrastructure or with vehicle, another vehicle. So vehicle to vehicle communication or vehicle to infrastructure communication will help us. 
is if you invisible look at the traffic lights, but uh, infrastructure communicate with your vehicle, it's red post stop. This is the automation of transportation control. Or if surface of road condition is not good, so we need to avoid this route. This is automated control to change the sh shift lane or change the route. This is another communication between vehicle to infrastructure. This is the connected. Then in near future, maybe soon, connected autonomous shared and electronic technology will come together simultaneously. The electronic be uh, autonomous vehicle almost using the ex electronic technology in US. Okay. Mass, uh, I think you already know the mass, mobility as a service. Then uh, addressing the emerging urban mobility issues in the era of global urban transportation development. This is one of the concepts to connect the all public transportation. There is, there is a connection system, pair, pair system, or timetable control system, or connectivity, the waiting time, or meeting point of ride sharing, uh, easily, uh, well controlled by the APRI. Therefore, if we want to go to the railway station from Itere, so you don't necessarily wait the long time of the Ankota. You can call the ride sharing in front of your gate. Then after before getting on the station, the railway has already been uh, waiting, the only five minutes waiting, then you can get directly on. This is uh, optimum control system. Uh, this is a mass a combination between the railway, Ankota, bus, or bike sharing is joined together. You don't necessarily to pay the double. Only once paying payment will cover the all different type of public transportation. Okay, that is a mass. Okay, then. Let us consider the old, old fashion vehicle, auto, auto, automobile, or motorcycle <coughs> are strongly correlated with the TOD concept. TOD, instead, TOD concept want to reduce the use of auto, auto, automobile or motorcycle to reduce the accident, to reduce the emission, reduce the lot of externality. Then now automobile will be replaced by mass, will be replaced by case. In this case, what happened? After introducing the mass, maybe meeting point will be flexibly changed day by day, time, time by time. Now, our bus system, we have a timetable, and we have a bus stop fixed. Therefore, we need to walk to the bus stop, and we need to wait the timetable. <coughs> but mass, you can, you can use the Apri. You can call, first of all, you can call the ride-sharing vehicle in front of your house. Then, uh, you, you can stay in your house, watch TV. Then after arriving the mass, uh, you can get on. Then this, this vehicle will pick up the another people and finally go to the destination. Then destination, another public transportation waiting for you <coughs> without any uh, waiting time. This is a mass. Then therefore, I think the city will be dramatically changed 
before and after introducing the mass, uh, before and after introducing the mobility, new mobility, autonomous vehicle, ride sharing will change our daily life. No necessary to consider the driver's work, working role. Or no necessary to stop waiting at waiting at the stop. Maybe ride sharing means we don't necessarily to buy the vehicle by ourselves. There are a lot of vehicle, no driver's vehicle. Then once you put the apple, then vehicle will pick you up to go to the destination. Then pay, payment is also included in Apri, no need to pay the money. This is online, online uh, cash, cash system. Then after introducing this kind of new mobility, first of all, parking lot, parking space will be reduced because almost vehicle are right. right. Not parking, not necessary to park your vehicle in front of your house or uh, campus in Itebe. My vehicle, I have a vehicle, but I'm daily commuter by bicycle. So only once a week, I use the vehicle. So one week, seven days, 24 hours, uh, how, how, how long, how much? <laughs> Mm -hmm. 100 or something, only one hour per week I use the vehicle. Another 100 something uh, stay the garage. garage. So it's in vain. I paid a lot of money to buy the run. Only parking, no movement. I also have to pay the, a lot of money inspection or insurance or gasoline fee, the lot of money need. Even I am a main bicycle users. Then younger generation like you don't want to buy the vehicle anymore. Ride share is much cheaper, much reasonable, much clever, smart than existing vehicle. My generation, Car ownership is a kind of symbol to be showed the rich stage, stage. But good morning, welcome. Good morning. <laughs> but now it's in vain. Younger people want to pay the money to download the apple <laughs> and buy the vehicle. Then in this era, maybe TOD is not a good idea for new mobility era, we need to shift the concept of TOD to new ideas. That is a mobility-oriented development MOD. One, I, I reviewed huge amount of papers about the concept definition of MOD, but unfortunately, there are no academic paper about the concept clearly def define, defin defining the concept of MOD yet. But only one paper I found. Uh, Mr. Dr. Smornich, Norway, uh, he proposed the concept of technological uh, organic organizational solution related to math. This is a cross definition of mine of TO, uh, MOD. Okay. He want to talk about the two aspects. One is the technological aspect, the uh, autonomous vehicle or unmanned shuttle vehicle will be changed, the concept of, from TOD to MOD. And also organization solution like uh, ride sharing or on-demand mobility will also change the concept of TOD to mobility-oriented development, he mentioned. And also 
uh, relationship between mobility and technology, uh, mobility technology and spatial structure of city uh, might be changed. Scenario also changed. Then finally, he emphasized the PPP, the public private partnership in urban parking or control uh, traffic management based on mass might be changed. That's why he wants to def define the concept, new concept of DOD that he called as uh, MOD. My personal, I'm, I'm completely independent from him. Then I originally considered this should be changed from the TOD to MOD. That 70% or 80% close to my idea. So I totally agree with him ideas. So I'm trying to contact with him, but there is no response yet. Anyway, uh, January, we'll have an international workshop of the MOD issues. So inviting him or some others in Hiroshi. Okay, this is uh, one of the uh, video clip. What the impact bring by autonomous vehicle society? Please carefully look at the land use pattern of this video clip. City has grown up pretty much like all the other cities, and it constantly changes. Our city has grown up pretty much like all the other cities. Changes. We become more people. The city grows. We build houses more roads and parking lots, more vehicles. But human beings also need space. So what would happen if we drive away the cars of today and start using autonomous cars instead? Autonomous cars don't need any signs. Autonomous cars need less space, enabling the white. It creates more space for us humans. And autonomous cars can drive and park themselves somewhere else. Look at this commuter station. You will be picked up as soon as you leave the train because autonomous cars know when you arrive. So this reduces waiting times, less pressure, less stress, and autonomous cars will take you all the way home. Check out these autonomous trucks. They're driving close to each other because they automatically line up into road trains. This saves loads of energy for transport and that is good for all of us. And since the autonomous vehicles communicate their arrival times with their destination, the loading and unloading can go so much smoother. And when the trucks don't have to stand and wait, can use their parking lots for other things. Look at the front of the shopping mall. It's just a lot of parking lots. We would not need all of them anymore. We could do something funny. It could be a park instead. 
with an outdoor swimming pool and a cinema. This is a place to live in. So with autonomous cars, more space is created around the needs of people. Cities become nicer and more beautiful. Streets become safer, travel smoother, less noisy, more space for life. Well, it will be better. Thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, uh, yes. So, from the video, you can identify the parking lot is not necessary. And also, that we have a lot of green space in front of city center, uh, railway station or city center. Yeah. Therefore, the tradition type of TOD-ness is not meaningless, meaningful, sorry. Therefore, we need to change the concept from the TOD to MOD. Okay. Then uh, we are now trying to utilize this concept MOD in Higashi Hiroshima City. Higashi Hiroshima City is uh, uh, our hometown Hiroshima University locate. Then we're trying to two type of mass and uh, new transit. One is the main street. We have a protoning uh, connected BRT system. Two, three bus connected each other <laughs> using a telecommunication system with the same interval. Then the bus come without drivers, then stop well. And this one is the last mile and the first, first mile service to connect the station, bus station to the destination or uh, departure place. This is the Hiroshima University campus. Then we already check this vehicle is available to use the city. This one is newly introduced this year as a test demonstration. So it's now, it's now December. We already start the de demonstration prior to operate this bus in Hiroshima, Higashi Hiroshima City. Then after integration goes to, we are now establish the mass system soon. Then, this is the one of the concept of implementation of the concept MOD in the real world. Okay. We have a lot of uh, ideas. Uh, this concept maybe replace the traditional type of TOD. And also there are a lot. We have uh, uh, infrastructure system, including the data infrastructure or communi community infrastructure and uh, facilities infrastructure as well. Then my colleague Chikaraishi also tried to develop not only the evaluate of the transportation behavior, but also he want to evaluate the agglomeration of place or social exchange. How many meeting <coughs> opportunity or meeting creative uh, exchange increase after introducing this system. Because we have a lot of students, we have a lot of <coughs> professors in the city, small city, and uh, there are a lot of fun, like uh, Micron, uh, computer science, then the Mazda as well. Then we, we face a lot of inconvenience to travel from the Hiroshima University to Micron company, or Micron to Mazda, Mazda to Higashi Hiroshima City Hall, because of heavy congestion occur. But after introducing this mass, there is, maybe there is no congestion at all. This is our dramatical change idea. After that, 
we can easily invite a lot of startup in entertainers in Higashi Hiroshima city because the travel cost is very much dramatically reduced. <clears throat> okay. And then finally, I want to ask, final of the second part will be uh, come up soon. Uh, this is once again, small bit said, uh, there are a lot of side effect of transition type of TOD, he said. One uh, side effect of TOD was the, uh, there are uh, uh, induced demand theory or uh, in effic efficient paradox or the rebound effect, almost similar concept. You know, in the induced demand, after construction highway, we can remove the tra transportation congestion. But instead, many, many cars bring increase. Therefore, soon after construction of the highway, congestion level getting same. This is induced demand. So we have a 30 or 40 years history to construct the highway, high-speed railway, but still remain the heavy traffic congestion in city. This is the induced demand theory. Then TOD, unfortunately, did not solve this uh, congestion issue. This is one idea of him. Another, uh, we want to stop the a lot of problem uh, Vicious cycle of the unbridled space development, spatial development. <clears throat> there are a lot of innovation past. For example, we have a vertical mobility innovation that is elevator. Do you know elevator? Of course. Elevator is kind of autonomous vehicle. <laughs> we don't know drivers. But we believe this is safe and secure. Long, long time ago, when I was kids in Japan, one lady get on the elevator every time. Then support us. This is not automated. Push the button only. But anyway, now fully automated. The vehicle will go to the similar situation of the elevator, vertical mobility. Then, in this case, what happened? Vertical mobility elevator has a great impact on city. Great impact, negative impact on city. What that? Safe elevator in New York, there are a lot of elevator installed. Then, idea of a high-rise building was used by a modernist in, in, in him. Uh, the concept of multi family, family flat spread out the world. Then finally, uh, for example, uh, Central is housing authority uh, cast it right on the unexpected side effect. Decline, uh, uh, no. safety decline. Street car escape uh, disappear, greenery overgrew, and the mobility use just right. This is another fact. So innovation brings the impact on city, but sometimes positive, sometimes negative. Then TOD is not necessary, always necessary to bring the positive impact negative impact as well. That is his talk. Then, uh, uh, I want to skip. Yeah. He, therefore, he emphasized the importance shift from existing TOD to MOD in terms of the compactness, connectivity, accessibility, mixed land use, and the urban access. The MOD is a little bit different from TOD. 
This is the most important part of my talk today. Please bring back this table. I don't repeat again. Please bring back this. This is a small gift to all of you today. <laughs> Okay. Okay. I I spent a long time. Ah, one more I want to say. This is a transition type of TOD. There is a railway first, then construct the whole building as a residence or office. But surprisingly, this building also developed the parking lot a lot, underground or across the park uh, area. Even the public transportation cross to their office, their house. But after introducing the mass or MOD concept, maybe we have a various type of public transportation connected to each other. Then he or he, she does not necessarily to walk to the station by using the last mile uh, autonomous vehicle will pick him up to the station. Then there is no parking area underground and uh, this area. So we can develop the greenery space like a video clip. Yeah. Second part of it, sorry, I spent a long time. Question? Once again, satisfied with the question. Hey. And you know, it's about the uh, And you see that the uh, impact of the UD. Uh, like uh, social exclusion. Right. And uh, when you think about the uh, MOD, I see that you have uh, not explained how it impact the MOD. Social exclusion. So okay. maybe you can explain why. Okay. As I mentioned in the first slide, um, first, people, all people live in, inside the wall of the, close to the castle. Then, uh, after exploring the urban, poor people forced to leave the suburb area. Then, rich people still remain in the city center. Then, in this case, they need to pay additional money to get on the railway. This is one of the typical social exclusion. Rich people should pay the more money. Poor people save money. In other words, Poor people should stay in the city center. The rich people have to go out. But at the beginning of the exhibition, uh, the direction was completely opposing. Poor people forced to go. This is the case of Roma. Surrounding the M25, this is a greater round outside. Uh, poor people or migrant forced to leave just outside of M25. Then forced to commute, take one hour driving by railway. That is a part of social exclusion. This is a, a result of traditional type of DOD. That is a, one of the typical cases. There are several cases, I, I think. But this is one of the easy to understand the social ex exclusion issues. Thank you very much. Very nice question. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, please. How uh, MOD can... can MOD. Yes. MOD. Once we employ the autonomous vehicle, during the tra traveling, we can walk because we don't necessarily to drive alone. So rich people may easy to move out the above area, then commute by autonomous people, working together or sleeping, eating, clothing, making up, uh, anything, any activity available during the traveling. 
So long distance is not negative issues. Long distance commuting is a part of daily life, daily activity. That's why rich people will live in the suburb area if you like, if they like. Poor people want to live in the city center if they like. But as a result, social exclusion issue will be eliminated after introducing them. That is our concern. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Any other question? Ah, no, my son, is that, is that I have one question. Ah, yes, please. Yeah, okay, say, say. Wait. Okay, because I said, I go. at, it's a print. No, <laughs> I'm free today. <laughs> so, shall we? Shall I, shall I sing wrong song? No, 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 his question, uh, we don't have uh, yet, even in uh, developed countries, uh, about the autonomous vehicle yet, right? Is uh, maybe he's still on the yeah yeah point. yeah on that. And in case of of TOD, that we would like to uh, include, like a poor poor people or people that doesn't have access to the. Resources, yeah, like jobs, everything. Mm. Case like uh, Kuritiba, yeah, mm -hmm. Kuritiba, yeah. where <laughs> the poor people uh, actually, purposely, the government would like to put them together with the rich people in the in the OD. But eventually, because those area, although. The government let them to stay yeah, in yeah. the OD. But the price of life, I mean, the basic needs is uh, expensive. Although they can stay in the area, but eventually they have to, you know, have to go find somewhere else. That is not systematically, but yeah. people say it's a kind of random market situation. Yeah. And then what happened is uh, kind of like uh, mobility as a uh, think, I mean, trying to connect them, although they can far away from the DOD, but the, the government eventually uh, provide them with uh, almost like 24 hours bus that back and forth, like 20 kilometers from the, where they locate now, and then can bring them back anytime. That kind of a situation uh, yeah. that happens. Yeah. In, uh, the countries. Yeah, I think a similar thing here, uh, where our government now pushing that every TOD have to let uh, the inclusion of twenty percent of uh, of uh, middle income or lower and middle income have to access to this area. But uh, how what how that that does the situation? Okay. Yeah. Oh, I just my question is without having uh AV, I agree with you that AV eventually will increase consumption of space. Uh, we read a lot of paper about that, and then of course because the precision of that the car can come in in time precisely on the track, so space will be reduced, and then we can use for more social activities. But in case of something like in car, maybe uh. 20 or 30 years later, it is still something like this. So we're trying to, what's your idea adopting this MOD in, in developing countries? Uh, yes, uh, yes. It's very much interesting question. And also I always received a similar question from Gajamada students. <laughs> I made a class in Gajamada about also. the autonomous vehicle. Uh, then they disagree with me <laughs> because the infrastructure level is completely different from Japanese. <laughs> the surface is not good, and there are a lot of uh, oh, oh, hole. Uh, then uh, they disagree with that. Yeah, therefore infrastructure, of course, we need. Therefore, we need time more. <laughs> especially in Indonesia as a whole. But let's back to consider the Kuritiba case. Kuritiba 
uh, developed car oriented city first. Yes. Then local government push the strong policy to change the city as a TOD or city. Yes. Then they replace the old land use and redesign the city structure to put the uh, bus BRT system. Then along the BRT, there are a lot of residents developed and there are a lot of subsidy from the government to live in this area. That this is a newly create the city to achieve the concept of TOD. How much money, how, how, how many years they spent? Almost similar meaning of the autonomous vehicle technology is implementation. Then once we need to reform, redesign the city to the TOD concept, I think it depends on their decision make. But one another idea is to install the MOD concept by based on the autonomous vehicle. Same money, same time necessary. That is the first idea of mine. And also, uh, <clears throat> autonomous vehicle technology will bring the another side effect and the good benefit. In Japanese, total population size is now reducing. Aging quickly come. We have no more drivers employing. Nobody wants to be a driver. Dangerous and hard work and low income. Then robot, it's the best way. Robot should replace the job of drivers by considering the social issues in Japan. Indonesia, the GDP and GDP and population size still increasing. Therefore, those concepts are not necessarily followed in Japanese So in other words, pet driver, uh, drivers or crews inside the autonomous vehicle, level three or level four, good enough. In Japan, we need a level five. Yes. So fully well-established exclusive lane for vehicle, but in Indonesia, people can sit on the uh, driver's seat, but nothing to do. Uh, this is level three or four. So that is another way, but autonomous vehicle is helpful to prevent the accident and the condition. Uh, there are a lot of issues to talk. Therefore, I spent three days in Gajamada to discuss about this with students, the group discussion. But uh, I will come next year again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if, if possible, I'd like to have a same class in Itebe with Gajamada because Gajamada students basically come from the social science, the public policy, or international relations, and some others. So they don't believe the technology. But you are dangerous people. <laughs> it's your Thank you very much for your question. question I, I did not direct it. Yes. Not? Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Sensei. Uh, I have been paying uh, attention to the class from behind because I'm a Zoom operator and also sorry, take it, take yeah. time, and also a uh, student in Master of Transportation ITB. Uh, and uh, it's very interesting uh, for your presentation because many illustration easy to understand. Yeah, I liked it. And then um, my conduct research on TOD in relation to uh, increasing the number of transit passenger. Uh, in, in this case, uh, trains uh, in KRL and MRT Jakarta. And uh, my study found that uh, there are seven variables uh, that have a positive significant effect on the number of uh, train passenger, uh, namely the density of interaction in the TOD area, uh, the availability of pedestrian paid, uh, the availability of bicycle parking lots, and the number of bus stops, the density of the area, uh, the diversity of land use and the mix, mix of uh, land use. Uh, 
And so uh, I'm curious, uh, curious uh, if this MOD uh, is still oriented uh, towards uh, increasing public transit ridership. And uh, is it also uh, very much uh, related to land development, uh, such as uh, high density development, mixed use, and um, others uh, as I found in TOD uh, from my research? And yeah, I would like a more detailed explanation, um, although uh, the previous slide, uh, previous slide uh, explained it, but I'm more detailed about the uh, land use and compact development uh, in MOD concept. So, because my uh, interest in spatial interaction, uh, okay. transportation and spatial. Okay. okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, uh, almost good direction you for your research, first of all. And yes, uh, partially we need to follow up the similar indicator of evaluation of MOD as same as the TOD. Uh, but Another way is we have a flexible meeting point for ride sharing. There is no catchment area of the station. In this case, we cannot evaluate the connectivity or accessibility to the station fixed location in case of ride sharing. Mm -hmm. In this case, we need to make it more flexible indicator apart from the existing traditional fashion of TOD indicators. This is one of the ideas uh, you should improve if we want to shift from TOD to MOD. But I think the current direction is very, very nice. And there are, I think there are a lot of publication recently about the TOD ness evaluation. So uh, faster is better to publish your paper. And my students also making a fight with others. One month late means the one or two paper published soon. So this is a kind of competition. competition. And one more thing, the land use pattern might be different, especially after Corona, open space value is getting higher than previous. Therefore, uh, TODness, we also consider the not only the wide of space, but also quality of space is quite important. That is one of the value of space. So not perfect response, but you have to read it. <laughs> thank you, Sensei. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> then, uh, finally, I want to use another 10 minutes to briefly introduce my personal project, mm -hmm. which was started, started. Case study in Higashi Hiroshima. Higashi Hiroshima is a hometown of Higashi, Hiroshima University. Higashi is a, is a place east, of- East. 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 Is a Japanese. She can she can she can understand Japanese. Five years in Japan. It has sometimes dangerous. Okay. This is Hiroshima. This is this is a map of Saijo. Maya live there. Yes, I know. You get. Okay, this is uh, our target area. This is a part, central part of Higashi Hiroshima city. All the name is Saishio. Then this is the JR station, railway station. And this is the Shinkansen station. Then uh, this distance is around less than 10 kilometers, five or six kilometers only. Then JR station to come to Hiroshima University campus, huge campus. This is only five or six kilometers. The, the blue line? Blue line, yeah. blue line is a uh, main street. Main street. To connect this JR station to the uh, university campus. Then we have a plan to install new BRT system 
on Sururai near future. And also, the uh, last one mile or first one mile operation of autonomous vehicle operated there. <laughs> and we already checked the availability to use the technology. So there are a lot of residential area. So we will operate the last mile operation of autonomous vehicle. Autonomous okay. vehicle. Then <clears throat> population is now 90,000. In this area, the size is only 100 uh, kilometers square. It's like just two people in a household? Yeah. No more. No, no more. Not a whole. In Bandung, it's almost four or five. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Different case. <laughs> yeah. Previously, we have a normal parents and one kid, uh, one boy, one girl is the best. Best. Four. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, for me. Yeah. Then one out of four live in Tokyo previously. Then rest still remain in Hiroshima. But now the getting aging society, uh, in my case also, my first kids left Hiroshima city to go to Osaka, Kyoto. Then uh, second son will graduate soon. Then he will leave Higashi Hiroshima to other place. Maybe Ban. <laughs> <laughs> Please employ my son. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is a very much compact city. Then this is a good ge geographical shape of introducing the transition type of TOD. As well as in, <coughs> we have a, a lot of free space to make a meeting point of ride sharing space. <laughs> and also, we have a blue bar. This is a green, green, blue line. This is, there are several candidates of the bus stop construction, like uh, Trans Jakarta. Okay. Then, aging and lack of driver is problem. Yeah. And the university town. Uh, one fourth consists of the university related people of this town. Is that a 15 minute from the university town and uh, Hiroshima to the, the cities? Without congestion, easy to move the, within 15 minutes. But uh, 25, 27 percent exceed the 15 minutes due to the heavy traffic congestion. Sometimes you they spend more than one hour. This is a problem. Many people want to go to railway station in the evening. Morning, many people want to come to Hiroshima University. So heavy traffic congestion generated. Okay. Then we operate the last mile operation, Hiromobile. This is an image of Hiro. No. BRT first. Okay. So I want to skip, but you can easily image the, this is almost same concept of Trans Jakarta in Jakarta. Jakarta. Or Trans. Jogu eh? Jakarta, same. They have also the Jogu Jogja, the BRT system. And this is the same one. I want to skip this one. Then we will newly introduce this one. And it's already operated, this right. one. This is our last mile operation. One flew set, sit on the driver's seat, but nothing to do. Uh, yeah, then Level four, 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 four percent, yeah. Only one driver sitting here. Then this is a steering. Not circle, this is only bar. There's nothing to do. <laughs> he can see. <laughs> yeah, this is a uh, uh, level two because autonomous vehicle. Uh, no coil. No coil. This is a 3D digital map operation by using radar. Laser and uh, 
camera. Okay, based on this one, uh, once again, we want to install the BRT and last mile, then to idea, uh, to realize the Higashi Hiroshima Next Generation University Town initiatives. Previously, we have a TOD concept, but now we are now gradually graduating from this concept to the new concept that is MOD. There are a lot of uh, city uh, village of intelligent village, smart, smart city, smart town connected by the last mile operation. Then finally, from Hiroshima University side, because we are academic member, so we try to make a platform to evaluate the MOD project. We have uh, four, four group. First one is citywide simulator development. Uh, Professor Chikaraishi developed this one. Is it uh, like a platform? So uh, yeah, I will show later. The second group is uh, P2I, vehicle to infrastructure like operation system, uh, conducted by Tokyo University. And then, this is my time. I am trying to develop the digital twin sandbox to simulate uh, newly proposed by Chikaraishi based on the simulator uh, in the digital experiment. Experiment and also Tokyo University proposed the uh, idea from the real experiment. Then I want to mix the digital digital space, cyberspace, and physical space joined together in the sandbox. Then we call digital twin sandbox. Then one social scientist joined us <coughs> to redesign the emoji yeah. concept once again in terms of the data space design, or rule design, or road space design, or business model design. Uh, this is a compact uh, platform. Then, this is the simulator we are now developing. Yeah. First of all, I want to say this is a matching. This is a free, free software you can use, download freely. But we need to develop a lot of system. This is a network, and this is the aggregation of people where they are now living or staying. Then uh, it's not easy visible, but there are a lot of dots on the road. Each dot means a big movement. The big moved on this highway, then we can calculate the uh, congestion level on the road. This is a simulator. Then uh, our Hiroshima University try to improve the one more function that is uh, agglomeration of uh, people exchange. How many meet meeting opportunity generated at the destination? That is a new idea. This is the just starting project. Then I want to complete this project in five years. Five years. Five years. I will retire two years later. So I have another three years employment by myself <laughs> <laughs> under this project. Mm. Then this is a final goal for me in the each city uh, slower speed, shuttle, uh, more space for people, or affordable, uh, reliable, frequent mobility, or access to all age people, some others. This is autonomous urbanism, new urbanism. MOD is a part of urbanism. Then I totally <coughs> agree with the professor Olson from Michigan, uh, he is one of the member of our project. He is also COE of Main Mobility Corporation that is a developer of 
autonomous vehicle technology itself. So you can meet, you can see the Hero Mobi. He developed this vehicle. Then we buy this vehicle to Hiroshima, Hiroshima University. So hopefully I'll come back again in near future, next year, next year. Then I will talk the result of our study next time, next chance. That's all my talk. Thank you very much. Good morning, Thank you so much, Professor Fujiwara. Maybe we can head up to uh, our discussion and Q&A. <laughs> okay. okay, so maybe I will open for three questions first, and then we can open up if we still have the time. So I think for everyone, students and our uh, lecturer, please feel free to ask and discuss with Professor Fujiwara. Maybe, perhaps? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, please. Oh, students first. Yeah. Students first. Students first. Students first. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Sensei. Uh, for the material, this is interesting. Uh, my name is Azwan. I'm a research uh, assistant in uh, this uh, ITB. Currently, I'm engaged in red heli system study with uh, my Sensei mm -hmm. uh, in small uh, group. Uh, my focus has been exploring about on, on mobility on demand system. Uh, focusing on uh, how to repositioning the MD uh, idle driver uh, in light heli system. So uh, I think it's uh, it's correlated with the red sharing uh, autonomous vehicle. Uh, maybe on how we can optimizing the vehicle MD vehicle uh, MD vehicle moving. <laughs> so I have uh, several questions about it. Uh, so is it possible to implement the red, red uh, sharing autonomous vehicle APIs? Uh, maybe it's a uh, Hemobi uh, operation, but in uh, as a first and last mass solution, but without a specific uh, fixed route, uh, so we can uh, pick up and drop off uh, the, uh, the the passenger, but with not any specific uh, routes. And uh, is it possible with uh, existing transportation modes in Hiroshima, like trams and bus, also also in also, also rail and bicycle uh, in individual levels. Uh, and what challenges might uh, be encountered in this implementation? implementation? Uh, and second question, uh, in the context of Indonesia, uh, we have a red heli in transport. Uh, we call it OJEK, uh, OJEK Online. Uh, is it possible in the future research efforts uh, to support the implementation of red uh, sharing autonomous vehicle uh, using red Right, 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 hailing technologies as a baseline in Indonesia uh, in the future uh, implementation, uh, especially in FV in, in, in this country. Okay, thank you, Sasha. Okay, thank you very much. Interesting question. Um, <clears throat> first of all, yeah, uh, at the Hiroshima case, uh, we have a fixed route operation, but any place available to get on, get on. So it's flexible. There is no bus stop. So this is one of the, because this is one of the trial to install the application as they want to book where they want to get on and get off. And then uh, we install the application. Then depend on the application, we operate automatically, stop and route is fixed at this moment, because due to the traffic <laughs> law, police did not allow us to change the route during the operation. But in near future, we have a technology to develop the digital three map on the old road. Therefore, after developing the digital map, I think it's possible to actually change the route, the government <laughs> service to pick up the report. Uh, that is uh, possible, theoretically possible. Uh, it's need to change our traffic law, our traffic act. <clears throat> and Hiroshima city, it's more flexible because there is a tram, there is a bus, there is a bicycle lane, there are a lot of vehicles. Therefore, uh, University of Tokyo is now trying to make a real experiment of the operation of its uh, BRT system inside the tramway. Then uh, they want to check 
the vehicle to infrastructure communication and also vehicle to vehicle communication and tra especially traffic signal communication. Then after checking this system, we will install this system in Hiroshima city to Higashi Hiroshima city. This is a small city. That is our roadmap, but we did not do yet. And Indonesia case, <laughs> difficult. <laughs> Very difficult. The uh, selected area. Yeah, first of all, uh, we need to repeat the uh, confidence or social acceptance to install this kind of new technology because people does not believe the technology yet. And also, if you are now developing a new capital. Yes. Is it? This is one of, one of the first and last chance to create the TOD of MOD before coming to heavy motorized city. From scratch. Yeah, from scratch. So it's chance for you to develop the MOD or TOD. Then transit-oriented development or mobility-oriented development. Then after construction those system, the people does not necessary to buy the vehicle and not necessary to construct the parking lot a lot. Then we can pick, keep the greener space for kids. This is one uh, idea. So if you successfully did this new development area, in Kalimantan or some other land, the newly developed area, I think uh, that is uh, one of the good case study to socially accept the concept. I know, Bandung, Jakarta, uh, too late to install the uh, MLD concept uh, soon after the uh, developing the technology. It takes time. For your information, actually, uh, three years ago, we did the research on specifically select in Bali. In Bali. 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 Yeah. Uh, from the airport to the uh, mm. destination. Yeah. To the area. Yeah. Just simply showcasing. Yeah. The, uh, the yeah. 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 Use that. But of course, it's uh, still, I mean, the regulation, everything is still uh, have to put all together. Yes. We need sandbox. Yes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sandbox is very much useful. But uh, in case of transportation, we are not allowed to make a mistake. Yes. <laughs> in fact, yeah. therefore, it's very much difficult for me. But. In case of Higashi Hiroshima, just only less than 100,000 people live. It's pretty much compact. And also the many students live like Maya. Therefore, it's easy to convince them to make a trial to introduce a new innovative technology. So that's why we try to make a out of case study. This year, we are now taking the BRT operation. Okay. Sorry, I cannot respond to your question clearly in case of Indonesia. Uh, maybe, and also, I, I forgot. And also, I, I feel I need to make more effort to improve the social acceptance throughout the uh, public education. People does not believe the technology also at this moment, and so, so uh, they don't know what happened in other countries. Uh, even the Bangkok has already tried to introduce autonomous mm -hmm. technology. Uh, this is a part of developing country, uh, developed both. But I think that it's possible in the limited area, it's possible in Indonesia to apply this technology. But social acceptance is quite important. Yeah. That's why I'm trying to make a short course in Gajamada 
So next year I will come back. The uh, Itebe will have the same class. Is this okay? Yes. Okay, Sensei. Yeah, I will do. Actually, we did similar thing before the capital city start being prepared. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And then with the education of APs, at that time we asked socially about good. The, good. the existence of good. technology. And the, the, the acceptance is quite uh, not that really bad. But it's good news. So and I need to hope, for example, they can uh, people, I mean, local people adopt the technology like, you know, smartphone, everything. And then what happens if there's automatic vehicle in front of you? Yeah. Only my barrier is I cannot speak Indonesian language. <laughs> <laughs> so, Itebe and Gajamada is good. I can use English. But uh, in the public education, it needs to. So, you you should accompany with me. The <laughs> yes. Anyway, uh, I'm now concerned. Well, I had a class in UT Austin, US, oh. and Hiroshima University, social science side and uh, engineering side, and also Vietnam Japan University in Vietnam, and Kajamada. So we want to add more cases. So if possible, if we, if Vice Dean allow me, no, no, Vice Dean, <laughs> please accept me to have a sequential eight classes mm. for three days. Mm. I, I can do. Okay. I have a package. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, main, main part is the student's mutual uh, communication by using the kind of technology that is direct risk communication technology. So I will talk later. Okay, thank you. I think we have next questions from Rubipit, please. Just a technical question mm -hmm. about the autonomous vehicle. You said that in this uh, project, uh, for riding the BRD, people <laughs> can drop or alight on board everywhere, right? Uh, for BRT or for the BRT? BRT. 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 In case of BRT, this is blue line only. Therefore, we want to make it faster at the puncture as much as possible. Therefore, we may operate the two patterns. One is a direct operation from station to campus. No stop at all. No stop. Another one is we put the only two, three station in the middle, then a fixed station. Sure. But there are a lot of one, one mile, last, mile, last one mile operated uh, from the stop to the destination. This is a mixed usage. Oh, so the passenger needs to drop transfer to transit from the light. is with the hero mode. Uh, no, no additional payment. No additional payment. This is the kind of subscription for one year or half a year. Uh, if we, if students show ID card, they can get them freely because they have to pay the annual budget, annual money uh, at the beginning of the seminar. In Indonesia, we do that. We can drop everywhere, anywhere. Ankota is a man, <laughs> best, best public transport. <laughs> any route, any place, <laughs> getting wrong. <laughs> Only I cannot understand the destination. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much here. <laughs> but actually, it is a, like a free market. People get I me. Mean, the anchor is completely comp each other. Oje, oje wa ne. Oje wa. Okay, well, once I can speak uh, Indonesian language, <laughs> I prefer that. But sometimes I cannot say the exact destination. <laughs> I want to there, there, there. <laughs> go, 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 go straight. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
OJ is much better than Brown. So I like OJ. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Do we have another questions from the students or assistants? Or... Yeah. Go ahead, please. Thank you, Sensei. Uh, I want to ask about the hero movie. Hmm. Uh, it will be played as a uh, first mile, last mile uh, mod right? So uh, I just want to ask it will be uh, like in the existing condition nowadays in Japanese. Maybe the cycling will be the main mod as a first mile and last mile mod. So oh. it will be replaced this mod or how to design effective personalized members to support the uh, BRT or BRT as an optimal trainer. Yeah. I see, I see. Yeah, that is a very good question about the practical operation. Last mile or first mile or vehicle needs a lot. And also the depend on the route. We need to utilize this compact vehicle or a little bit bigger vehicle, depending on the root shape. And Hiromobi was imported from US because we want we we want to have a confidence of real operation in US. Then we imported this vehicle from Michigan City to Hiroshima. But now Japanese company like Nissan. Toyota, Honda has already developed the compact vehicle of autonomous electronic vehicle. Therefore, it's available to utilize those vehicles. The problem is the Hiromobi case, only two years lifetime to operate. Is it license or? Every year, we every day we operate, then uh, it's very much cheap format, uh, not excellent vehicle like a Toyota, mm. uh, cost, cost down. Therefore, uh, steering, not the uh, wheel or uh, body itself is not good for a long time. Therefore, 2,000 kilometer operation a year. Uh, is uh, upper limit to operate. Then two years operation, we replace a new vehicle. Oh. That is uh, one of the programs. So cost expensive at this moment. So we need to give up to importing the US vehicle. We need to change the Nissan or Toyota vehicle. During the Tokyo Olympic game, one traffic accident caused by autonomous vehicle in the athlete bridge. So Toyota stopped to operate completely now. This is a secret. <laughs> but on YouTube, <laughs> <Are you too? laughs> Toyota stopped to operate. But in near, near future, they will restart. Hi, hey, good question. <laughs> So, anyone want to raise question or just raise hand? There's no question yet. Oh, from me, Professor. So, uh, <laughs> using my chance to ask. So, I want to talk about the case as uh, the new mobility concept. Yeah, for the three aspects, which is the connected, uh, shared, and electric, I believe that all parts or regions in the world, also Indonesia, are paving always into those concepts. But my concern is the autonomous one. I think that to implement autonomous vehicles, especially on the road, we need to have like high quality infrastructure. We need to have like a proper alignment, perhaps, and the median needs to be fully assigned and uh, it needs to be fully functioning, right? But we also have a high congestion level and also the deteriorating roads in Indonesia. So. Uh, my question yeah. is, is the autonomous aspect really the collective purpose and the virtual mobility that can be implemented all over the world? 
but uh, is there any like the prioritization like we need to achieve what first like connected first shared first electric first or just do we have any roadmap before achieving all those aspects yes nice question the i think the in indonesia share right is already installed yeah. in your society and electric vehicle is in time the uh, same as other countries in japan we are now developing the wireless charging system on road therefore no need to develop the charging station anymore so uh, electric vehicle will be replaced also including the two foil motorcycle as well electronic motorcycle will be installed then connectivity connects connected is uh, necessary to use the ideally 5G communication with, without any delay. <coughs> 4G is also available. Uh, therefore, in the rural area or mountainous area, it's very difficult to install this uh, uh, connect, connected peak install. But in the city center, there is no problem, I think, the connection connectivity. Then most barrier is open. Then I want to say there are two issues. One is uh, infrastructure condition to support the autonomous vehicle operation. But uh, <clears throat> as far as I know, during the digital map development, we, we spent around two months of the digital condition of the road surface or alignment or ge geometrics and some others, then we can easily avoid the whole if existing automated. But problem is road map as uh, a digital map takes time to improve. Every day, autonomous collect the data every day. Mm -hmm. Then Tomorrow, we will replace a new digital map. Mm -hmm. So during the night, we spent a lot of calculation and AI changed the uh, operational software. But new road, there is no digital map yet. Therefore, we spent another two months. Therefore, simply speaking, existing road with digital map there is no serious problem at all. Change of infrastructure is very much important to curious for operation of autonomous speech. Therefore, if you install the new road, you need to take care of that. And also in Hiroshima case, what happened? We did. There are three along the street. Then three growth. There are a lot of Yes. Then uh, we cut off the tree every month or every two weeks to keep the similar condition. Otherwise, we need to develop the, another digital tree map once again. And that is a weak point of the AB. Mm -hmm. Another one, is, uh, but I have a confidence, confidence it's possible to install the doors technology in Indonesia as well. But uh, one more ser serious problem <clears throat> is we take the another two, 20 or 30 years to fully replace the new autonomous speed. There is a long time mix usage, the existing human driving vehicle and autonomous speed joined together. That is a more dangerous situation. So human beings much clever than AI at this moment. So it is not uh, the the level four or level three. The the, the in Japan we are now driving level three and level four three. in the normal general road. So it is mixed uh, usage. lane, right? No, no. mixed use. Mixed use. You yes, as well. But this is uh, limited speed up to 30 kilometers or something, but we need to uh, make it more freely. 
but that is take time maybe, especially in Indonesia. <laughs> it's very much difficult to replace a new vehicle at the same time. You still have to zero, right? <laughs> yeah, from the first scratch, <laughs> it's impossible. But the, the idea of, of the capital cities would like to have a level three or four implemented in the in the course, in the core area. Yeah. Last April, a uh, March, the central government changed the traffic law, traffic act. Mm -hmm. We they allow uh, allow us to install the level four in normal. In then after that. A uh, private company made an effort a lot to, to develop the new vehicle to operate, especially in the inconvenience area of uh, public transport. Mm -hmm. We can wrap up. Yeah. Anyone want to ask more questions? Maybe one more? Last question, maybe? From the master student of transportation, maybe do you have any questions? <laughs> okay, I think we can wrap up. Yeah? Okay. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Before we leave the room, please gather up to take photos. Sure. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Now we'll have a. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. Giving the. <laughs> Is that a twin gift? It's a gift from ITB given by the power price team. It will be bid for Professor Juara. I also buy now vice dean. Oh, oh. Vice, dean. <laughs> Other vice president. Right? Vice president finished. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, no. Do you want to give this a little gift? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that. I got to go. I got to go. Hello, can you see me? Hello. Is it popular? I'm going to go to the bar. I'm going I have difficulties. Correct me. This country. This country. Okay. Uh, one, two, three. Again. One, two, three. Okay. One more. One more. One more. One, one, more. one, more. Uh, one two, three. Uh, again, one, two, three. Another handphone. <laughs> In one, two, three. In one, two, three. Cheese. Cheese. Thank you. 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 Thank I will inform you later. Can you send it?
Ready for the exam? Absolutely, absolutely. Oh, 